So, you have your urine for a few months now, or meron ka na matagal ng daily driver, and dirt and dust are already building inside of it. That will lead to damage on your hardware. I'm Jay, the tech guy here at Hardware Sugar, and luckily we have a customer coming in today, and we're gonna be showing you 5 tips on how we clean our rigs. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. So, first of all, tell us something about this system. Okay, so ako yung customer. So, ito, ano siya eh. Um, nabili ko siya throughout 2020, pero nagawa siya nung January 21. So, mga six, uh, five to six months na siya. Eh, hindi pa naman siya ganun ka, ano? Hindi pa naman siya ganun ka dumi. 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 Pero yun, kailangan na siya lilingin. So the tools that we're gonna be using are uh, screwdrivers, brush, compressed air, if you the air for it, alcohol wipes, damp towel, or clean cloth. So tip number one, and the obvious tip of all, make sure that PC is turned off and unplugged before starting. Also, make sure your hands are dry. So, ito magagamit. Tip number two, take off all the filters, the panels, and the parts so you can move around free while you're cleaning. So in this case, uh, start with the side panel and the uh, back panel and the filters. In rack is uh, really, as you can see, we have a vertical mounted na CPU. We can remove it including the PCI, uh, PCI riser. Next, uh, front panel. Uh, in some cases, there are uh, connect na cables like RGB cables, power cables, cloud panel uh, inputs like this. Uh, so be careful when removing. At this point, uh, in mesh front panel cases, you uh, can use a uh, blower or compressed air to clean the mesh. <laughs> Good cable management. <laughs> well, in my defense, <laughs> yung content kasi dapat na to update dun sa professional na cable management namin kaso napansin ko na ang dumi na ng PC ko so might as well take advantage of the parang content drought ng hardware sugar and gagawa ko na lang ng content yung paglilinis nito tsaka besides hindi naman papayag si Jay na paglinis ko to kung walang content so <laughs> Two birds with one stone. <laughs> so tip number three, uh, it is suggested to put uh, your hand on the case to avoid static buildup. Bakit natin kailangan niya avoid yung static buildup? It might uh, damage your uh, hardware kung meron static buildup dyan sa case natin. Tip number four, use compressed air to remove the dust sa case. Uh, you can also use brush. Pero avoid using it on sensitive areas such as the motherboard as it may uh, create static buildups. So we can start with the flat surfaces muna. Uh, for example, yung case, as you can see, yung bottom side, uh, may buildup na siya ng dust. You can uh, brush away muna yung mga uh, dust buildup na. Then, also, it is suggested na palabas yung brush so hindi maiipon sa loob ng case yung dust sa loob. Next sa fans, uh, 
Yan, as you can see, may mga build up na ng dust sa fence at saka sa surface uh, ng fan. Best way para uh, malinis yung fan is you'll stick anything na parang like screwdriver para matigil mo yung fan on spinning or you can clean it. You can clean the fins first. Yan. Then sa loob. So sa paglinis ng pins, kung kaya na uh, lahat ng pins linisin, yan. Yeah. Tapos pag isa-isa. Isa-isa. Kung mapapansin nyo, as he is removing yung dust dun sa pins, napupunta lang everywhere din yung um, dust. So, i-clean up pa yung mamaya. Hindi basta natapos mo na yung pins, okay na. Wow, what is that? Hmm? Wow, what is that? Wow, what is that? Wow, what is that? Wow, what is Okay. Ngayon system na yan, 100%, well, 90% siguro sa hardware sugar galing. Maliban dyan sa cooler, kasi noong time na binubuo ko na siya, walang cooler sa, wala pa tayong cooler. So at this point, nireboom ko na yung radiator, as you can see, uh, half a year pa lang ito nagra-run. Pero as, yung build up ng dust, grabehan na. Talaga naman. <laughs> Nasa apartment kasi ako. Nasa si Makati City apartment. So, so how will we clean this? Um, Magpublow tayo ng compressed air sa side kung saan wala yung uh, dust. So you can see, itong side na to wala masyadong dust. And ito dito sila nag-ipon. Dito natin sila yung blow. Pero away from the cave. Away from the cave. Same thing with the pan, siyempre kailangan rin natin na kailangan din natin sa linisin bago natin ibalik yung rad. Oh, so same, same way kung paano natin cleanin, paano natin nilinis yung pan sa front panel. Bibigyan na nyo yung pans from spinning and brush nyo lang yung face. So makikita nyo yung disadvantage ng white na setup. Kapag madumi siya, alam mo na madumi. So, mas prone siya sa, well, mas dapat siyang linisan ng mas frequent. So, yung GPU, ganun din. Ibo-brush mo rin siya. And mas importante na um, malinis yung fans ng GPU kasi like yung CPU, mas dependent siya sa thermal performance. So, gagawin natin, same lang with the fans kanina, konting brush. 
habang pinipigilan yung uh, fins, ah sorry, yung blade yung fan from spinning. Ang hirap din dito sa GPU fans, mas madami siya. Tsaka so mas konti yung space mo to move around. So just like make sure you get in there. Tapos at this point kasi gusto mo lang naman na parang ma... Kumbaga mas stop siya from settling. Kumbaga gusto mo lang guluhin yung buhay nung, nung dust. Para pwede mo siyang i-blow away mamaya using yung air compressor. Ah sorry, compressed air. Yan, just take care of it. Kasi ito yung, ito yung, yung pinaka-baby mo talaga. <laughs> Ayan, so, nung nabrush na natin, parang na, kumbaga nakalas-kalas na yung dust, di ba? So, iaalaw siya direct. Well, hindi man direct. Pero... Just like, don't worry about yung compressor mo na merong moisture konti. Uh, so, tuyuin naman natin yun. Tapos, make sure din na pasadahan mo yung um, yung kasi yung GPU may radiator din, di ba? So, pasadahan mo din yun, yung pins niya. Ah, ang maliit talaga siya. Ayan! Pinto yun lang. Nothing too fancy about it. Mas okay sana na the more frequent na you do it, the better. Pero alam naman natin na wala tayong time. Since minsan maraming umaatake sa base natin sa Valheim. Pero dapat talaga na part yun ng maintenance procedures ng PC ownership. Yung pag-clean ng parts. So tip number five uh, for cleaning uh, flat surface and uh, for example this on this rig yung uh, PSU extensions natin. It is suggested to use a uh, clean damp cloth, but in our case we're going to be using alcohol wipes. Uh, Pinik namin na alcohol kasi yung alcohol na residue nun mag-evaporate yun agad. So hindi na tayo mag-worry kung ala, basa pa ba yun? Do we have to dry it? Mag may mag-sport kaya. Pero still, be careful and make sure na bago mong i-turn on yung PC mamaya, like completely dry siya. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for using it on glass panel, as you can see, uh, maraming build up ng uh, sort of oil. So, clean damp towel or yeah, alcohol wipes and remove it. So in this case, as uh, we've said earlier, uh, tempered glass din yung front panel niya. Ililisin din natin siya with alcohol wipes. Kawa naman ang piece nito ni Ro. Parang mo lang mag-uwi. Anim na buwan. Anim na buwan nang hindi pinalitan ng daw yak. Yak. Very good. At this point, um, since we have a filter in the panel, we will use the air to compress it so that we can clean it. It's
okay dun. Maayos na, linis na. Hindi ko na-expect na ganun sa katumi. Pero, bakit nga ba natin kailangan siya linis? So, yun. There are many benefits in cleaning your rig regularly. Unclean rigs can harbor uh, germs and viruses. Yung mga real-life na virus, like COVID. Like, seryoso yun na, hindi yung joke. <laughs> Also, ultimately, tatagal yung lives pa ng PC mo and you'll make your hard earned money soon. Yeah, kasi kapag ka anything na nag-hinder dun sa pan, that's when it starts dying. And kapag, alam naman natin na kapag ka pangit yung performance ng pan, pangit yung cooling. And, syempre magka-spiral down na yun kapag pangit yung cooling, pangit din yung performance ng component. Kasi heat kills everything even yung components natin. So that's why um, yung kanina medyo involved na involved yung ginawa ni Jay. Kasi ultimately, gusto kong tumagal to kasi hindi naman to binigay sa akin ng ni Sir. <laughs> Talagang inano ko siya, pinag-ipunan at pinaghirapan ko siya. And alam naman namin na lahat din yung rigs nyo ganun din. So in order to make your rigs last and for you to enjoy it for much longer, This should be included dun sa preventive maintenance steps niyo, cleaning your entire PC. So, rock, happy ka ba? Sa nangyari sa PC? Oh, sobrang happy. Unfortunately, hindi namin <laughs> hindi pa namin siya inoffer as a service. Like official na service dito sa store. So, sana huwag kayong pumunta dito para lang sabihin na oh, pwede palinis ng ano, case kasi nakita namin sa video nyo, pinahan nyo eh. Well, partinate lang din namin talaga itong opportunity na to to share yung aming experiences kung paano mag-clean and kung bakit kami nag-clean na. So if you have other tips on cleaning your rig, comment it down below. If you like this video, please hit that. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, Hardware Sugar. Also, visit our physical store here at Gihon Makati, uh, Harbor Sugar. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. Dejo lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Ongkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel. Yan nga kasi yung hirap sa troubleshooting eh. Kasi hindi ko nga alam kung like, nabawa ito. Oh, mm -hmm. di ba? Oh, Actually, like responsive kasi dapat responsive yung system pag ganun. Ah. Oh. So, like, so yun, so saan magbi-build, 'di ba? Kailangan kasi mas efficient yung mga uh, yung pag pag ano dito, yung mga hiccup sa ganun, 'di ba? Actually, okay naman uh, as you can see, sobrang responsive naman ng build. Uh -huh. Pwede na diyan sa area na 'yan. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah, <laughs> as of the moment, may tamo running tayo ng 100 Hz. Oh, eh, so okay ba yun? Mas efficient ba yun na gano'n? Efficient yun mo. Diyan na, na tayo mag-build. Just panin mo na lang itong spawner na to. Okay. Sarahin mo na lang yung spawner na yun. Tapos wala akong stamina, boy. Base na natin yun. Eh, kain ka. Yung hindi ka kasi kumakain. Ganun ka naman yun. Ah, okay. Kain ka muna. Ganun na lang. Hmm. Yeah.